if you want to know how to style your hair from this to this then this video is for you hi everyone this is naturally afro sis i'm back again with another hair video if you follow me for fish farming videos this is not for you you may skip and move over to fish farming videos this has to do with hair if you want to see how i style the hair please make sure you stay on and watch the video to the end and make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification button so that you get notified whenever i upload new videos so um, let's get into it we're going to start with shampoo the very basic things your hair needs to be very well cleaned after shampooing i'm supposed to deep condition my hair but i'm not going to do that because it's cold i don't want to start coughing so i'll be using conditioner just for two minutes so the products i'll be using are manuka honey and mafura oil intensive hydration shampoo by sheer moisture and then i will be conditioning my hair with tea tree triple treatment conditioner by giovanni i'll shampoo my hair first and then i'll put the conditioner then after two minutes i rinse it out I'll come back and do the styling i'm going to do the simple twist using only one product and that will be shea butter this is my hair freshly washed without anything in it i'll just apply my leave-in conditioner i'm using afro g balancing moisturizer and then i'll go in with oil i'll lightly scalp massage So I'll do my hair in sections. So this is my whipped shea butter. You can see it's very creamy. If you want to know how I make my homemade whipped shea butter, let me know in the comments. I will not make the twists very small. I kind of want to do chunky twists. So I put my shea butter at the ends. I concentrate at the ends and then I come up like that. Then I start twisting. Okay, so let me do it again. So I get a section like that. For this twist, we are going for the scraggly curl. A scruffy, ugly kind of curl. So I put my hair in a small section. Like that. It's a bit dry. So we're going to go in with water. And then I get my shea butter. I start with the ends and then I put it all over the hair like that. And then I section my hair in two. Like that. Then I start twisting from the bottom coming up. Other people do rope twists. They tend to be firmer and they last longer. But I don't manage to rope twist. My twists are usually very soft. So I'm doing these twists for a twist out. It doesn't really matter if they don't last that long. I'm removing them tomorrow anyway. So you go on twisting. And then when you reach the end, when one section finishes, you twirl around your finger like that. You don't borrow because if you borrow, when you're unraveling, your hair will break. So let's do it one more time time we section the hair detangle it some more if you want the hair to be super smooth you can use a denman brush 
But since we're not curling the hair, we're not going for a super defined curl, there's no need. Then you get your shea butter. You start with the ends. You're sealing in the moisture because the hair is going to quickly dry out once the moisture evaporates or once the moisture dries out. So you split again in two and then you start twisting. feel there's no product you can keep adding as you go when you reach the end if one finishes you don't borrow you just twirl around and you're done so we're going to do the same for all of them So we are done. If you are wondering why my hair is looking longer behind, it's because it's still damp and the twists in front have dried up. The hair has started shrinking. So even the hair behind, when it's dry, it will shrink. By tomorrow, it will even shrink further. So yeah, we're done. I will let it air dry. I'm not going to go in a dryer. And then tomorrow, I'm going to do a twist out. So we're going to use our oil to unravel the twist. So we apply the oil even in the fingertips, scalp massage a little bit. And just to have some shine, you apply it to the hair as well. Then I'll put a bit more oil now in the fingers to use to unravel so that I avoid freeze. So remember how I was saying you were not supposed to borrow? When you don't borrow, you can just move in like this. So this is the curl you get. So we'll do the same for all the twists.
So now we're done and these are the curls we get from the shea butter only. Remember earlier on I had said that I'm not going to make the lines straight. So this is why I don't make lines because I don't want my hair to have defined lines. It's harder to start killing the lines especially when your hair is not thick enough. So right now my hair seems to be thick because of pregnancy but I know with time it's going to start shedding a little bit. So when your hair is not thick it's better you don't make straight lines because it will be harder for you to kill the lines don't worry i'm going to show you how to kill the lines if you have the lines so you go in you start doing this yeah so you can shape the hair whichever way you want if you want your curls to last longer you leave them just like this huh? you can stay with these uh, curls for a week or two because you haven't separated them but when your hair is not thick then you need to start splitting in the middle or if you're going for a smarter look i know there are some people that can't move with hair like this especially some professions maybe maybe bankers like in my country maybe bankers might not feel like this is neat enough because it, it somehow looks a bit scruffy-ish yeah so for those that would want to make it look smarter you split it further and if you want your hair to look fuller if you are going for a fuller look so when you split like this you have more volume and you have this kind of curl like this but for the one i had posted on facebook the one that had people commenting to say how do you achieve that at the end of the two weeks i just started lifting like this just started lifting the hair like this as you go some of the curls get killed and others remain so this is when you're going for the scruffy look So if you have lines, you use a comb to lift like maybe an inch from the scalp. This is it. A twist out with sheer butter only. The scruffy one. I think in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the smarter look. So in this particular video, we were going for the scruffy look there you have it you can curl your hair with shea butter only but i do know that there are some hair types that cannot get curls so those that cannot get curls from shea butter only you need an extra styler like maybe gel of some sort you could use a homemade gel or you could use a store-bought gel but most of the gels tend to flake so i prefer to use my own homemade gel i'll link the video at the end of this video how you can do your own homemade gel if you found this video helpful please make sure you like share subscribe and turn on your notification button i'll see you in the next one bye